I guess you have to be more prepared and you always need a higher education like if they're gonna hire someone with a high school degree or with a college degree I'm pretty sure they'd go with the college degree you're more prepared you've been through more ex experiences than the other person would have I'm most proud of the fact that I made it to high school, um, that I achieved most of my goals. Um, I'm just so proud that I changed who I am as a person, and I'm I'm going I'm going to be a more responsible young adult who is more mature and is more responsible and ready for the real world and. I'm just so much, and I'm like so glad that I stayed in school and decided not to drop out. That's the main thing. Uh, I think the biggest struggle was moving here because I moved here from Kosovo um, in 1999 because it was uh, a war back home. And so just transitioning here, we didn't know anybody. Um, we didn't really, I didn't speak English, so learning English and just transitioning to a more American lifestyle is probably the hardest thing. All right, how do I overcome challenges? Well. First, I, um, I try to go to someone that's more experienced in that field or what I'm trying to um, learn about or, or, or get to know more information about. I try to go to someone that's more experienced in that. And so I um, try to take, um, take from them and then learn from that and then and do my own research. high school is that I shouldn't fear change because change is inevitable. We all change for the better and that's a good thing. The fact that something better is going to come along in the future like having a job with hopefully a high paying salary and um, being able to make my parents proud is also a really big deal because the last thing I'd want them to do is come all the way to the United States just so that their, their um, kids could just fail so I'd want to make them proud and do something good so that really inspires me. What it means to me to create a legacy is to leave behind something that people are going to want or admire and look up to. Through high school, I learned that I'm like an independent worker and also like my leadership role as high school progressed. I was an LTC so I was like able to go through different leadership roles and I got hired as I got along through the years. People that I admire are my mom, my grandmother, and my aunt. They have been basically the backbones of my life. 
and there are strong, independent women who have done what it takes to get through in life, and they haven't depended upon a man in order to do things that they needed to do. If I could change one thing in the world, I think it would be poverty, just because that's where all problems come from, in my eyes. People steal, people rob, people kill, just because of poverty. Something that you don't have, so you take from someone else's, and it, end, it ends up taking their lives away as well. So I think poverty is the biggest problem. For me, one of the best community uh, service experiences that I've um, participated in was when I actually went to Costa Rica, which is actually home to me. I went to an indigenous community, which is a group of people I'd never really been exposed to. It was a really good experience because it was also a group of Christian um, conservatives from Colorado. And um, I had to translate between them because they were coming down to do mission work. and. Um, they really didn't understand each other's cultures and it wasn't just the language, it was just the aspects of the culture that I had to translate. That felt great, that part of service that everyone should have at some point in their life. I want to create is making people smile, my uniqueness, and oh, hardworking. And the reason I want that is so people can know that I worked hard to get where I want to, uh, where I'm going to be in life. Inspiring other people to do what you did and people look, looking up to you because you did what you did because you are passionate about it and you achieved so much and you're looked up to for that. My passion is art history because of uh, how art well, speaks to me, the inspiration it provides for me and really what I want to do in the future.